The UK is home to some great and historic coasters, and whilst we can't compete in height with the Giga Coasters and Strata Coasters of America, we can still give them a run for their money with some creative and expertly designed rides. Narrowing all the roller coasters in Great Britain down to just the best 10 has been quite difficult, but I've thought long and hard about it and come up with this list of the top 10 roller coasters in the United Kingdom. Number 10. Wicker Man at Alton Towers. Wicker Man is the latest wooden coaster to open in the UK, and its theming is pretty spectacular. As far as the ride itself goes, it's good, but a little bit underwhelming. It's smooth and there's a few decent pops of airtime, but it feels like it's a bit constrained by the available space, and it's nowhere near as good as other recent GCIs such as Mystic Timbers. Having said that, it's still a very enjoyable ride, and I'm yet to have a night ride on it as Alton Towers is so rarely open after dark, so that could potentially put it higher in this list, but even by day, it's still a fun coaster, and a worthy inclusion in the top 10. Number 9. The Ultimate, at Lightwater Valley. The Ultimate is a truly unique coaster, and there really isn't anything else quite like it. With nearly a mile and a half of track, this huge coaster has only been superseded in length by one other coaster in its near 30 year lifespan, and it still should have the record as the longest hybrid coaster, despite what Cedar Point Steel Vengeance will claim. It's really a coaster of two halves, with the section after the first lift giving a mostly straight ride out in the open, with a few small bumps, but the part after the second lift hill is a crazy rush through the forest, feeling out of control like a wild animal tearing through the trees. Like a lot of older coasters, it's a bit rough in some places, and you may end up with some ultimate bruises, but they're worth it to experience this one-of-a-kind ride. Number 8. The Big One, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. The Big One may be a bit of a rubbish name for a coaster, but you can't deny its impressive size and looks. Standing 213 feet tall and having a steep and twisted first drop, it took the record from Magnum XL 200 as the tallest roller coaster in the entire world when it opened. These days it's getting a bit rough in places, particularly on the first drop, but I think they replaced some of the roughest bits during the off season last year, so that can only make it better. To me, the big one really is all about speed and height, as it does lack airtime, especially when compared to the likes of Magnum, and I've never really understood why the first hill is so triangular in shape, rather than a nice curved airtime hill. The speed sensation on the ride, however, is great, and still after over 25 years, the ride remains the tallest one in the UK. Number 7. The Smiler at Alton Towers the Smiler is the current world record holder for the most inversions on any coaster, and that makes for an insanely twisty ride. It flips you upside down no less than 14 times, and there's even a couple of airtime hills part way through to vary the forces you experience. It's a bit of a shame that the ride is over the shoulder restraints, as if it had more modern clamshell restraints as seen on other Gerstlauer coasters. I think it would be infinitely better, and relieve a bit of the headbanging you get on some sections of track, although that might have made it a bit too scary for some people. It's still a fun, crazy ride, and really is a marvel to behold, as how it's managed to pack so many inversions into the space takes up is an impressive feat of engineering. Number 6. Oblivion at Alton Towers The first ever dive coaster has a truly unforgettable drop, and even when compared to taller dive machines, Oblivion's drop is fantastic. The near vertical dive through mist into the darkness of a tunnel where you can't see the bottom is simply exhilarating, and may make even seasoned enthusiasts catch their breath. There isn't really that much after the drop though, so it really is a one trick pony, but it's an incredible trick. Number 5, Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Icon is a very good coaster, and whilst it pales in comparison to Helix as far as Mac launches go, it's a fantastic addition to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. The launches are a bit on the weak side, but the rest of the ride is such good fun, with airtime inversions and plenty of twistiness. It runs a bit slow in the morning, but once it warms up, it's a great ride, and it's definitely the most re-rideable coaster at Blackpool, and now that the Wild Mouse is gone, my favourite one there. Number 4. Nemesis Inferno at Thorpe Park the second BNM invert to open in the UK, Nemesis Inferno is a fantastic smooth ride. It has all the usual BNM elements featuring a vertical loop, zero G roll, and interlocking corkscrews, and it gives a good speed sensation with lots of the coaster being close to the ground. It's not the most forceful inverted coaster, but that makes it very easy to re-ride, and it's got a nice flow through the elements to create some really good pacing. Number 3, Stealth at Thorpe Park. With the fastest acceleration of any hydraulic launch coaster in the world, Stealth stands as the second tallest coaster in the UK, only being behind the big one, and whilst it's not a long ride, it sure packs a punch. The launch is definitely the best one in the UK, and puts coasters like Icon to shame. The airtime over the top is great fun, and it really sends you flying before you dive down onto the floaty airtime brake run. 
It's essentially a baby version of King Dakar, which is over twice in height, but what it lacks in height, it makes up for in that initial kick at the launch. Number 2. Megaphobia at Oakwood now some people may be surprised to see this so high in the list, but it really is the best wooden coaster in the UK, and probably one of the most underrated coasters out there. Megaphobia has just one problem, it's located in the far southwest corner of Wales, a huge distance from any other parks with significant coasters, so you really do have to go out of your way to ride it. It is worth making the trip at least once though, as this wooden beauty packs in loads of airtime in a really fun layout. Several European and British coaster clubs actually organise events there, camping out at the park with a long exclusive section of night rides on this coaster, and that really is when Megaphobia is at its best. Doing lap after lap of this airtime machine in the dark is brilliant, and one of my favourite coaster memories is going up the lift hill and seeing a shooting star fly overhead before an amazing night ride in the back seat with a rather loose lap bar giving loads of airtime space. Number 1. Nemesis at Alton Towers Number one simply has to be Nemesis, as since its debut in 1994, this coaster remains unbeaten as the greatest roller coaster in the UK. Nemesis was the first BNM invert to open outside of America, and due to the height restrictions in place at Alton Towers, they had to get creative and basically dug a big pit to put the coaster in. As a result, the ride stays close to the ground the whole time, diving through tunnels and through canyons, which really maximises the feeling of speed, especially with all the ground rushing past just inches from your feet thanks to the inverted trains. The ride almost lulls you in with a very gentle drop to start, before you're flung head over heels in a corkscrew, then straight into a high G helix all the while gaining speed, and the coaster continues to drop downwards. From start to finish, Nemesis is relentless, with elements coming at you thick and fast and never missing a beat until you hit the final brake run. It truly is a world class coaster, and the number one coaster in the whole of the United Kingdom. But before I finish, I just wanted to give a shout out to some of the other great coasters we have in the UK that narrowly missed a spot on this list. Coasters such as Velocity, Colossus, Grand National, Revolution, Galactica, Saw, Big Dipper, Odyssey, Millennium, Thirteen, Vampire, Swarm, and of course, Wallace's wonderful wriggling whittle wacky worm. Hopefully you've found this list entertaining. If you have, why not check out some of the other content on my channel. For now, I've been Rollercoaster David, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again in another video very soon.